Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a DIY drawer divider. Now this is similar to those acrylic drawer dividers that you can find in stores um, in kind of an individual pieces. Instead of spending an absurd amount of money on them, uh, this way is inexpensive and it's fully customizable. So there's a few things that you're going to need. I went to my Home Depot and I bought this plexiglass. It is an 11 by 14 sheet and it's a sixteenth of an inch thick. Um, according to the measurements on their website and in their stores, it's 0 0.08 inches. Um, it is extremely flexible, and this is actually the plexiglass that uh, you can buy instead of using glass in your picture frame. So, um, $1.88 for this whole piece. Uh, I needed about a piece and a half to finish my cutlery drawer. Um, in retrospect, I would probably go back and buy the larger sheet of the 0 0.09 inch plexiglass because it is, it is much thicker, it's more rigid, um, and it's actually a bit cheaper. It's $30 for... I think it was like a 2x4 or 4x8. I'm not too sure. Anyways, it's a really large sheet that you could cut down and use it for multiple drawers. And it's more rigid so it's not going to bend. If Anyways, other than getting your sheet of plexiglass, you need um, use a tube of silicone. I don't know the different types of silicone. This is just whatever I had in my house and it worked really well. You're also going to need a heavy duty utility knife or a plastic um, scoring knife. And you can pick those up at Home Depot for like five bucks, but I just use a heavy duty utility knife I had at home as well. So this is a before the picture metal frame of what that's my holding everything was the original like. one that came with the cutlery set. But I found that every time we open and close the drawers, uh, things would slide out and as you can see in the metal frame, there's no, there's no barrier so the cutlery would just fall out of it. So this video is not going to be a super extensive DIY, it's just going to kind of show you the steps that I took. And I guess it's really just trial and error, whatever works out best for you if you want to use silicone or super glue. So I've already laid out how I kind of want my cutlery to look. There's a more scientific and better way to do this. You could actually draw it out and measure it um, and do it that way, but I kind of got lazy and just decided to wing it. So in order to score this, you're going to want to take your sheet and you're going to want to etch out lines already. Um, I just used a pen actually and drew these out. And the reason why I'm putting uh, glass under here is just so when I go to cut it, it's not going to hurt my countertop. So you want to take your straight edge ruler. The ones that are metal with cork on it work best because it's kind of going to act as a grippy surface. You want to take your heavy duty utility knife and all you're going to do is line it up on the pieces you've already scored. Hold it down, be very careful, and to score a few times, um, I would say three or four times. Once you've got that scored, you want to put it on the edge of something straight. Um, you can use your countertop or you can use a workbench. Just to make sure when it snaps that nothing happens. I'm not going to get cut. I'm just going to take a cloth. And where you put the scoring edge, just gently press down. Now you're going to see that came clean off. All I have to do now is cut off the remaining plastic. And you've got your sheet. So right now I'm actually just using uh, silicone. This is what I'm using. It's whatever I had in the house. So all I've done is taken a bead of silicone and placed it on one of these dividers. Kind of stuck them all along this oh. way. I just need to attach this top part now. I've laid it up against all of um, the little edges here and I've marked it off with just a mechanical pencil on the top where I need to seal off with silicone. So what I'm going to do now is just take this piece and we're going to start doing silicone strips on here. So I've got all the silicone strips on here. I'm just going to put it on. I'm actually going to push it against the edge just so it, um, it kind of adheres a little bit better. And this is the final product. Um, I don't know. I like it. I've actually siliconed the sides down so it makes like a nice barrier. It doesn't move or shift anywhere. Yeah, it's a pretty easy project. Just need to do a little bit of planning ahead of time. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to leave them in the down bar. Um, otherwise, feel free to send me a private message, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!